Mongolia. LCMS World Mission in Eurasia is an expansive area, and God can use many more people to serve in his harvest fields. There are many types of missionaries. Geo-missionaries are globally engaged in outreach. They serve for terms of one to two years in locations around the world. Many of them fill roles as English teachers and youth outreach workers. I had a professor who I guess saw something in me that I didn't see in myself and told me, you're coming to Hungary with us. And I said, I'm sorry, and what? <laughs> Could just tell me that again? Like, I, uh, I've had incredible uh, experiences. I've gotten to know a lot of Czech people, and, and I've gotten to share Christ with people, and those were, like, not specific, you know, general experiences that I was hoping to have and looking forward to having. So, yeah, in that regard, like, the general expectation has been accomplished or realized. Uh, I think the meat of... Serene and Tisavets as a missionary occurs um, outside of the classroom. Uh, currently, <clears throat> uh, we have what's called black box, uh, which although it sounds kind of dark and bad, it's a Slovak thing and it makes sense for them. I think I, probably from when I was in fourth grade, I read a fictional story about the missionary in Africa and I said, I kind of want to do that to uh, teach about Jesus within my classes. So I use um, Bible lessons to teach English. And um, I also um, do Bible studies. Um, so that's, that's exciting. And I invite my English students to those Bible studies. I teach probably, like a normal teacher would say, about four or five classes, a couple breaks in between, and then usually I have an after-school program. Sometimes I try to organize where English club, where I, either I help them tutor, something like that. And then after school, there's always opportunities to go to church in the evenings or go to youth groups or something to that degree over in Presho. My job yeah. is to be an English teacher at a Christian primary school. Um, and so I'm teaching at the school four mornings a week, and then uh, my kind of afternoon, evening job as I'm working with the congregation, I teach some English classes for adults um, in the congregation setting, and uh, that's kind of where my ministry stuff happens. The The purpose of, of the evening classes at the, at the church is to um, do some kind of outreach. The, the original point, like, of the classes, we advertised to church people and said, bring a non-Christian friend from work who may possibly have a similar English level as you, and so then you can work together on your English, you can talk to them about Jesus, you know. So it's like kind of an outreach activity in that, in that regard. Um, being in Latvia and being around the Latvians and being in a lot of different situations where I'm alone and I don't know anybody else, it makes it a whole lot easier than when I'm back in the States talking to people I don't know. Um, it's a breeze because they speak my language and <laughs> whatever compared to Latvia. So it's definitely helped me in that. I think just having a greater appreciation of how different cultures worship um, can easily be taken into a congregation anywhere in the States to get people excited about mission work or um, to do more of it myself will be beneficial to a church, I think. It's getting to be um, a lifelong difference or impact or change in me. Um, I always knew that I wanted to teach and I always knew that I wanted to tell people about Jesus. I just didn't know that it would be or didn't think that it would be in an international setting away from, from the States. But, um, but now it is and, and God has equipped me to do these things and given me the chance to do it. So I'm very excited. Definitely research it. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at all the places I could go in world missions. Um, maybe find someone who's been a missionary before. Talk to them because nothing, there's nothing like getting it firsthand. And um, I would pray about it and see where you're at in your life and where you'd be at, where your life would be at in say in two years and 
if this is truly God's calling for you. Um, I think that God answers prayers and we just take a moment, be peaceful about it. And if it's supposed to be here, it's supposed to be here. And you know, you'll hear God telling you.